Hello everyone, welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. I apologize for the creakiness in my voice. That is because my voice is creaky. I'm just checking what happened last week because I've forgotten. Well, last episode, it was a couple of days ago to you, it was a few days ago to me. Uh, Viz has sworn off liquor after a particular bad night of drinking, which is true in real life, as it is in the game. Art does indeed imitate life. However, he had a night in the town and recovered 56 stress, which is great. Holmesy is now calm, which means Holmesy does less damage on the first round, which is no damn good because Holmesy is a man at arms, and Earl British is no longer a kleptomaniac, so he can go to places and not keep stealing the shit that we want for ourselves. We have no level zero people, which is great, and we do have room for one more. And if we have a... <sighs> now, look. I'm going to keep tutting, because there is so... I would like a, not Plague Doctor, the other one, the Occultist. We don't have any. And the reason I want an Occultist is an Occultist will do, has a heal, but won't complain about abominations. So far, all the time we've been taking Viz out, we've been doing a DPS run, and we've been getting kind of stressed out, and also damaged quite a lot. So we've had to get through it quickly, get it done. If we take a, uh, what did I say, an occultist, that can do a pretty good heal. Well, it's a strange heal, but it can be really good and can get us out of some really damaging situations. So, I would like to get one. However, we don't have room. <laughs> so, experienced recruits provides a chance of higher level recruits. That's kind of nice. Ah, interesting. We need more deeds for another, but it was four more people, which is very nice. Oh, each one's four, so it'll take us up to 20. But I think what we do now is we get another Vestal. Especially since we don't have one, because D's still on the piss. A sister of battle. Kiev Ramon. I am going to rename you. I am going to use my telephone to find what Google Keep has. Google Keep. In the list. Mm. Ash. Here you go, Ash. You said you wanted in. You're in. Ashley is, of course, uh, uh, traditionally a non-gender specific name. But Ash in real life is a bloke. And hopefully he is offended by being a female character in the game. Right. Do we want to upgrade anybody? We could probably do this. Let's do that. That's a very good idea. Now we can make things hit harder. Which is exactly what we want. But we do have a level 0 character. So I'm thinking let's do a level 0 run. The reason for that is that... Our level 2 Vestal, excuse me, I was definitely dragging you around, oh, gonna make you go in there, okay. Our level 2 Vestal is uh, in the bar, and I don't want to take out a level 0 Vestal with level, like, well, maybe, actually, with Ed in the front, allows upgrading hero combat skills to higher ranks, and reduces the cost, so, what do we use on Ed? I think if we upgrade Ed and try and take him and Ash and a couple of other people on a run to get more stuff, this would be great. What is this? I don't know. We use Smite. We use Zealous Accusation. We use Stunning Blow. And I have come to learn that Bulwark, Bulwark of Faith, is actually very good. Uh, let's upgrade some other people. Let's upgrade Moi. Maybe. Or should we take them to the blacksmith to upgrade this stabby? Maybe upgrade uh, my... And... Let's have a look who we want to take and then we will see who we will upgrade. Obviously, me and Ed seems like a good start since we have no stress. Not you. Go away. Leave. Be gone. Thank you. Ed. Me. The the dream team. The, the people who started all this. The stalwart adventures. Maybe th <laughs> three fucking highwaymen. Uh, we haven't taken Dutch and we haven't taken Viva Phonics for a while. I kind of want to give Dutch something to do. If we get Dutch's stress up or down, then at least we have an excuse to put Dutch in in uh, recovery for stress, and then you know probably bring him out on some more missions in future. That's a that's a back, definitely back. Battlefield bandage. I mean, bowler's quite good. I think maybe we replace. Let's upgrade Dutch with the bowler. But you're coming along with us. 
And then in the third place, oh, actually, maybe this position. And then we will take our brand new Vestal, try and get them leveled up. Yo, where are you at? Up here. There we go. But whence? There's a medium level one thing. This is what we wanted to do, I think. Yeah, I think we decided... Oh, the Wizened Hag. We could try the boss fight with a brand new character. What have you got? Mace Bash is melee. Divine Grace is a heal. Divine Comfort is a party heal. And Illumination is a... A debuff. Right, normally we want to take maybe Dazzling Light or Judgment. But I don't think I want to invest any money in this character. But unfortunately... I say that, I've named it after somebody who asked to be named <laughs> in the game, and yet I'm thinking maybe we'll just trash this character at some point. Or at least I'm not too concerned about them dying. It seems like if we swap these two around, we're actually in a better position. So let's go and upgrade Dutch, and we'll probably give Ash a little bit anyway. Let's go back here uh, to the guild. Put Ash in. Judgment or Dazzling Light. Heals yourself, but that's not a huge deal, I think. So I think we'll go for Dazzling Light, because the stun is often very useful. If uh, Ed fails to hit a stun, then Ash can hit a stun. Uh, and also Dutch, we said we'd upgrade, so let's do that. I'm not really considering reorganizing these people. I know I tried to drag this one around before, but now I think about it, we just pick four people, don't we, every single time. Penelope Puddles did not last very long at all. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Maybe we should take Mr. Steve instead of... Uh, Ed. But if we take Ed, we've got a chance of killing the hag. So let's go for it. We'll do a um, a hag mission today. We want it to unlock bowler on you. We can also upgrade some of these. I think sniper shot and blind fire is really good. Sniper shot is definitely worth upgrading, I think. I don't want to spend too much money. We need to provision quite a lot. So we'll embark like this. We will remember trinkets this time. Let's bring them all back home. You are a god fearing. We'll only pray. That's fine. Don't care about that. You're going to be tanky, so you need HP. Perfect. Uh, minus one speed. Don't really mind. Uh, melee skills is probably a good idea as well. I uh, didn't want to close that. I wanted to do this. Highwaymen only. Yes. Oh, more stress damage for a higher crit. Maybe not. It's going to be a very stressful mission, I'm thinking. Uh, move skill we don't really have. Virtue chance is not hugely great. Although it's a lot less stress damage. Maybe we should give that to... Our Vestal. Our new Vestal can have a stress thing. Oh, lazy eye. That's okay. Ooh, that's nice. And that's pretty good as well. So we also want to give the Vestal a heal skill thing. Unless we've got two of those. If we have two heal bonuses, we probably want to give those to the Vestal. No, that's okay. You, Fear of Eldritch. That could be a problem in the wield, but that's okay. Um... What do we want to give you? Stun skill chance? Gave you bowlers, right? Which is a, a stun skill. Oh, it's a knockback skill. Of course it is. I knew that. There is a move skill chance. Where are you at? There it is. But less speed. I don't like these ones that debuff some random unassociated uh, stat. But I guess you deal with it. Bleed skill? I'll give that to me. Yeah. Plus. Known cheat. Excuse me. I have yet to cheat on this. In fact, I'm intentionally not even uh, scumming it up. Oh, there's a prot skill. Let's do that instead. Yeah, that's much better because we're going to be uh, using that thing that targets us. Uh, melee skills on this, I suppose, because uh, that is at least this one. We can slice as a melee skill. Okay, let's think about range skills instead. No? No? No, okay. We don't have many melee skills, but we don't have any alternatives, so whatever. Stun skill chance, not on you, okay. Bleed skill, stun resist. Yeah, let's use that, it's not really doing anything else, and the debuff resist is also pretty good. Do we have a bleed? No. Alright then, this seems good. Let us provision. Whew. I'm going to take three of these and a couple of these. Two stacks of food, maybe. And... Oh, I should, can I just click on get all of it? Maybe. 
two stacks of torches. The wield. The wield is venomous. We haven't got anyone to cure it. So we'll take a, like half a stack of that. But I'll ignore... I won't take any keys. We are going to loot stuff on the way. We're going to want some room. Take a couple of these, but we can heal up. I want to know what this is. Ooh. Ooh! That's interesting. How long has that been there? You can trade two of them for three. That's amazing. Ooh. I'm very interested in this. Did you know about this? I didn't know about this. Maybe that was in the update that downloaded just before I played this game. Turns out you can now trade these around for a loss, of course. But let's embark on this mission to kill the wizened hag. I had collected many rare and elusive volumes on ancient herbal properties and was set to enjoy several weeks immersed in comfortable study. My work was interrupted, however, by a singularly striking young woman who insisted on repeated calls to the house. Okie dokie. Well, these, um... In the wild corruption here. It bears a form both wretched and malevolent. Oh. Hands up who brought shovels. There's a, there's a progression to the boss's stories in this game. So that was the first of three, according to the thing, which said one of three, which means the first of three in most Western cultures. So we're just going to wander around. This is probably where the boss is, which is why I'm going there. And all being well, I'll probably camp here. And then be properly ready. We can probably buff ourselves quite well for the uh, hag. I hope we've got people who can hit the back now. I think about it. Yeah, sniper shot. Uh, yeah. Let us put this here. And we get some food. So maybe I didn't need to bring quite as much food as I thought I did. Oh, yeah, perfect. <laughs> Let's do it again. Oh, brilliant. Well, if we get hurt, we are golden. Trap! May we find victory. Good one, Dutch, you dumbass. Good thing I brought this, huh? Christ. Well, you're already half stressed out, but I wasn't going to fix you up back in the place until you were morph more stressed out. Now I'm wishing that I had brought the things that do move me forward. Uh, what can you people do from the back position? You literally nothing. You... You can at least heal from that position. Not that one, but the other one. You can hit something. I think we're going to have to spend some time manually moving around. Because we don't have any skills that move ourselves, which is a shame. But I think the first one we'll move is not me. So we'll mark something. Can we mark this? Is this a mark? No. This buffs us, that's fine. Uh, kill that. Okay. <coughs> right, so... Ouch, but okay. This may go badly. <laughs> we were surprised against all odds. We are marked. Right, you're going to move backwards. Only one, apparently. That's fine. You're also going to move backwards, and now our what's name is in the right position to attack all the damage. No HP, but you're already marked, so I don't need to mark myself, I suppose, which means I can probably try stunning this with a 9% chance. We've got... What's our stun base? 110. So there's a strong chance of stunning it. Success. Right, you don't get to go, and then we start again from a slightly more sensible position. Thank you very much for all of that. Jesus Christ. Look, the stress is okay. We're coming fresh. That's Ed, so he's got a bit of extra HP. Now we'll move forward two, and we're sorted. Uh, like, I think we need to start marking. Ah, uh, sneeze is coming. Can you feel it coming in the air tonight? Oh, Lord. There may be more than one. <coughs> yeah. Aye, aye, aye. Can you... Can I have a go? These things have got so many... Again, attempts. Uh, what's your bleed? It's only one damage, and so is yours. Although, five rounds. You've got one round left. You've got five HP is coming up for you, but you've got plenty of HP. Deal with it. Uh... What, you can't do that? Oh, that? Oh, you're supposed to be there, that's why. Dolt. So, I don't often consider 
your um your common old garden movement skills that move you to be all that worthwhile. Because it's so rare that you get scrambled quite that much. But I'm kind of wishing I had one. <laughs> Damage plus mark. Damage against mark. So we can mark something and get sort of twice the uh, benefit out of it. That was an excellent hit. And I know we have the, the the trinket to help out, but seriously, good hit. Ash heal me. I'm just going to let Ash do all the healing for now on. Uh, that's marked, actually, so I should have probably paid attention to that, but... Try not to make the mistake I made earlier on, where you mark twice in a row by accident, because you forgot to click on the thing that does the not marking, but actually shooting. You are attacking me a lot, but you resisted. That's really good. So we're both marked at the front, but we do have quite a lot of HP, whereas these two don't, because... Uh, Ed has a lot more HP, but actually um, Dutch has quite a lot back there, which is surprising. Didn't expect it. I mean, we could just smite this and hope for the best. That was literally the worst, but we did hope for the best. So uh, I guess I fulfilled the the contract, even though uh, to the letter rather than the spirit, shall we say? I, I mean, just get rid of one. <laughs> As I have mentioned before, get rid of something kind of trumps get something else that's more powerful closer to death. You heal me again. Looking forward to when you start actually doing a good amount of healing there, Ash. It's all the same to you. Uh, I mean, we've still got a mark on something, but I'm not too concerned about it. How much HP have you got? Ten. Let's mark this. And then when I get a go, I'll shoot the shit out of it. Not in the normal sense of shoot the shit, but in the... Punch it, sensor. Oh, we're probably gonna kill it anyway. We didn't kill it, so that's gonna die on the next round. But still gonna get a go. This combat has been a sort of a panic, really. I've not necessarily thought it through too well. Um, mostly because we started off in such a bad position, but I think we're doing all right now. You get another go. Let's try to make sure you don't get another go. Four to nine. Hmm. Yeah, do it. Just wail away on this and hope that it doesn't go first. It does go first, but it's only a mark. It's just one damage max. Oh, you resisted quite a lot of debuffs. Um. Excuse me. I'd like to have a go. Yeah, accuse those corpses of whatever it is that you were zealous, zealously assured that it did wrong. And as a result, destroy them. Amazing. More fucking food. We might as well start eating some of this food because it's stacking up like a mofo. Got so much of it. Yeah, you eat. Say you, that's me. You eat. You eat. Perfect. This is traps. Ah, darn it. Nothing happened. Okay. We'll continue. I know I didn't bring a key on purpose, but I was still kind of hoping that. Some good would have come of it. Stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. Yeah, thanks for lampshading the fact that you haven't got very much inventory space. Let's keep the torch up. I think later on we'll probably be thinking about doing the um Cruel yeah, nice one. Spring to life. Uh With dark singular purpose. runs. When we've started upgrading our guild, no surprise. You get surprised much better. When we've upgraded the uh, the guild and the blacksmith a bit more so that our our chaps are somewhat more powerful. What should we do here? Grape Shot Blast just hits three things. Spreading out damage. It's kind of a finishing move, I think, really. We could like, mark something. Does this mark target? No, it damages ah, it reduces damage. Let's do that on you. Oh. It does nothing. It just does one damage, right? Whatever. Hell with that then. Uh, did I bring the right one? I thought I brought a stun. I didn't. I must have forgot to switch it around. That's okay. Uh, we will debuff something. Debuffed. Let's dodge. That's good. That means you can hit it really hard. Let's mark stuff. This one. I know the stress damage things are probably priority one, but we've taken so many hits from that in the. Pass that. 
you know, I, I kind of, basically, I want to get rid of it. I hate it. Oh, also, these things are eldritch. Those are human. Okay. That's fine. Eldritch pull. Ha! Yeah, no eldritch pull in for you, me old sunshine. You dodged somehow. Can I buff this? <laughs> because I would like that to happen more often. Yeah, stress out everyone except Dutch. I'm down with this. Although Dutch is going in for stress relief anyway. Kind of the point of bringing him, to be fair, because he was hovering on the edge of worth bringing, worth recovering. Right, now we can do more damage versus marked. You can... 20 dodge, 20 dodge. Like, just... Debuff this again? Missed. It's light! You failed to shine a torch on the son of a bitch. Really? That's plus 60% damage and plus 60% crit chance. And you just shot him for 7? Boring, Dutch. Sort it out. These groping swipes, they just wear you down. 3 to 6, 3 to 6. Ah, it's not enough. Edward. This will definitely kill it if it connects, so we should do it. Although the corpse is a pain. I keep forgetting about the corpse, because we didn't have corpses when I first played the game. Ooh, that's a bad thing. Yeah, reorder us. Get here. Yes. I'm just going to move forwards and uh, get them back into position. I think that's more worthwhile than anything else I could have done at that point. Uh, let's just throw out a party heal and keep us topped up, I think. It's why you're here, and threes is actually really good for a one to two skill. I know that's happened quite often, but um, it doesn't tend to stick around, so it's nice when it does happen. Right, we'll mark this and start shooting it. You are going to attack that. Everyone else is going to attack that. Okay, go. Nice one. Ah, uh, it's not any significant damage. Puts us in range of killing it next time. You shoot that. 11 is a great score. You're dead. Well, it doesn't really thrill me that you get to have a go, but... Seriously. The torch, by the way, goes down every time they do that. Which is also double plus on good. Uh... <laughs> Perfect. Of course, if uh, if that gives us extra HP, I'm going to be super thrilled by that. Uh, what does this do? Two to three. Two to three. And... Debuffs them. So that gets rid of all of them. Well, it gets rid of that one. Now we have to try and figure out how to hit this son of a bitch. Good. And then we shoot it. You don't go first. Excellent. Open vein. 6 to 11. Roll high. Oh! Bleed. Ah! Ooh, did bleed. Yeah! Well done. Round of applause for the fucking noobs at the back here. Nope. Yep. Not you. You. Yay! I figure if it was trapped, then the highwayman had the best chance of avoiding the trap. And don't forget, we can heal up and de-stress in this room just before we do the boss. And I'm just going to basically gamble that that's the boss. Oh, hands up who brought two shovels. Look, this time our premonition was uh, slightly more accurate, but we do still have one left, so it may not have been as accurate as anticipated. Great shot blast. Is this, does this do uh, like a debuff? Uh, well, let's do what we normally do. These two things, by the way, can, uh, can disease us. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted you to mark first. No, that's fine. You're buffed. So, starting off with a tracking shot. Not actually what I meant to do, but now I think about it, it is. Dutch, you're getting owned right now. Two bleeds for five rounds. Okay, well, I'll I'll deal with you later. Uh, I forgot to fucking respec again. Shit. Let's just illumination this. I think it gives us torch. Yeah, a bit of torch. Right, you mark this. And then next turn, I will shoot it with my buff and the marked buff. Okie dokie. And uh, you gonna kill that? You missed it. Well. Better look next time, I guess. Stop attacking Dutch. 
He's getting fucking owned right here. And he's got rabies. What? <laughs> he's, he's got three bleeds on him and now he's got rabies and I'm supposed to somehow be okay with that? No, man. That ain't how it works. Yeah, I fucking resisted it. Of course I did. Alright, let's Divine Grace touch. I should have used a bandage when it was Duchess Go, but I completely forgot. Pistol shot this. Died. Perfect. That was neither under nor overkill, which is exactly the right amount of kill. You. Use that. We've got his holy water as well, but um, I didn't know you could actually uh, drink it to get a buff, but I'm never going to do that, so let's just forget it's a possibility. Please die. Thank you. And please hit it this time. You fucking what? And then you get another go to give Ed rabies. Ed. I suppose what goes around comes around. Keep Dutch alive. This has actually gone fine. Uh, for all my melodrama. Uh, I have no problem with the way this... 19 damage. You couldn't hit it at all and then you smite it for 19 damage. Literally, you smite it for 19 damage. Right. You have got the wrong fucking thing. Good. And that's for when you're in the front for some reason. Uh, no. Yes. Good. Although you were at the front once in this game already. Not too concerned about it. It's going to happen again. No, let's not collect us. Stop talking. Ashley. For serious. Shut the fuck up. Okay. Aha! Poisonous sap. I was expecting, like, fucking... Awarded to the brave and the <laughs> alike. What was I expecting? You know, spiders, basically. Oh, uh, what do we do here? It's 250 gold. It's the same as that. Hell with it. I'd rather not get rid of this shovel, because the worst thing... Oh, bad timing. Worst thing kind of that could happen with that shovel is that on the last track up to the boss, we eat shit. Right, so we tracking shot. 35 HP, that's bad. Tracking shot ourselves. Blanket fire is dodgeable, but we didn't. Because Dutch gets debuffed. Dutch, you're going to have to improve. I'm sorry. Right. Divine Comfort, because everybody needs a top-up. Another three, that's really good. I'm, I'm a fan of that. Slice and Dice. It's also dodgeable, but once again, you have let me down. Bruce. Uh, right, Sniper's Mark, this son of a bitch. These things are annoying, but that thing, I think, has a stress attack. Yeah, there you go. So we want that to not happen. And it's a bleed as well, so that's really bad. Uh, and we'll try and stun it, I suppose. I think it's worth trying to stun it more than it's worth trying to get Ed to hit it for damage. Right, plus 25 versus marked and our own buff is going to do a nice amount of damage to that. You can keep doing that. Zero on Ed and everyone else resisted. That's kind of bad but not, not terrible. Oh, six crit versus marks. Which is exactly what happened and exactly what... Wow. Okay, so as mentioned earlier on, my voice is not what it used to be. It makes it very difficult to be excited about things without, you know, squeaking. It happens. Chill. Fuck me. Only one damage per round, but it's still stacking up. 7 to 14, and we could kill... 8 to 16. Try that one. Oh my god! That's wonderful. He is guilty. You're right, Ned. You patronizing git. I know, I know. We provisioned way more than we needed, but that's fine. No, you don't get a go. It's me. Dodge. Yes! Come on, A-Team. Bring it on. The one, the only, the very first. The originals. Yo. <laughs> you can only do that. Fuck okay, it, do it. Four damage is not insignificant. That puts him in death range. He's dead. Which means... We let D, uh, Ash... Heal Ash. An 8 crit. That is. This has been the crittiest fucking round I've ever seen. Ah, oh, fuck it. Kill it. We couldn't have dragged that out any longer, I don't think. Uh, I do want those. 
I don't need mm, eight more torches, I think. Ooh. Stop bleeding! This is bandages. Yes. Cool, we had all of those. Well, we had room because we used the bandages. Right, maybe combat. Then we camp. Oh, no. Right, how do we deal with this properly? I think this is a good opportunity to use this damage spreading. Because what we want to do is try and kill them all at once in case they spawn one of those big dudes. Uh, that was actually uh, quite a lot of damage. And you dodged, which is very much worthwhile. Super pleased that you did, you didn't. That's okay. You can just keep healing yourself for now. I mean, I'd like to be able to maybe stun one of these, but I guess who cares? That's excellent. Please beat the shit out of this. Do not miss. The world needs you now. Alright, good. This Ed today is the hero that Gotham fucking needs. Holy water, maybe? Uh, yes, that's exactly what I wanted to happen. Well, but now Dutch is no <laughs> he's back in the position where we don't want to fucking send him away. Alright, we're going to camp here because I'm thoroughly convinced that the boss is next. If it's not, fuck me, I guess. We need to de-stress Ash, and that's basically it. So what have we got? Uh, less stress. Damage. Heal. Ranged. Right, we definitely want to do this because we're going for a boss fight. You. Wound care, no. Prey. Possibly want to do that. It'll increase Ash's prop as well as Ed's. Which is important, as they're both important. We don't want either of them to die. Ash needs to survive so he can continue to heal, and she. And Ed needs to die. Die? Needs to be buffed so he doesn't die. There we go. That's where the word die came into all of that. One of these prevents nighttime ambush, which I think is important to us. I'd like to de stress Ash, though. Is that all I got? Remove mortality deals. Well, that's pretty good. This is a five. Let's do that, and then we've got the four. And we just have to hope that we don't... Yeah, sure. We just have to hope that we don't get ambushed. Because we're not going to be able to do that. So we'll gain some protection for every... Oh, you don't get protection on yourself. I forgot about that. Fine. We will rest. Stop talking. The match is we're fine. Star is born. Which surprises me as much as it surprises everybody else, I'm sure. Take this torch. Thank you for the torch. The we'll wait a second and then use the torch. Stashed Ireloons. Very good. They stack. I'm a fan of that. A trap! And it's Dutch. Dutch, why are you the only one who can trigger traps? Are you that heavy footed? It's a good thing I brought more anti venom in it. Use the torch. Go in here. Phew! You know what? I was kind of <laughs> about to panic because it wasn't there. Into the pot. Well, that's a bad start. Okay. Uh, we do this. Three damage against that is actually pretty good considering that's that. Ash will come out of here when Ash is nearly dead. We tenderize everybody else. Okay. Everybody is buffed, so we have some protection. But I am also going to buff myself at the beginning. Because although our healer is dying, our healer is actually not doing too badly. And you are going to mark that. So that was the setup round. I understand that perhaps we have maybe lost... We've set ourselves back, but I think we've taken more steps forward than we have back. So you, 12 damage, yeah. So I don't think we would have got that many damage. Which is how much damage? <clears throat> if we hadn't, you know, taken the time to do that. Debuff. Speed, damage, and accuracy. That's pretty bad. Don't worry, Ash. No one gives a shit. Uh, we can one-shot that. We did. I would like to do that where possible. Please don't kill Ash. Pretty close. Right. Ash needs to step back. That 
is an amazing amount of damage. That is literally more than a quarter of its health. Yeah, pistol shot again. Fuck me. We might not even need to use Ash. This is amazing. Uh, step back a little bit. No! Fuck. <laughs> Fine. You're the only person who's going to die even slightly, but that's okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. So you're going to be on death's door because you're going to get yeah hit by that. <clears throat> but we can make you eat. Can you eat in combat? Uh, please. That's actually a really, really good round. So, we have won a Deteriorating Bracer, which is pretty good. And the Houndmaster thing. I thought we were getting something a lot better than that, but okay. Uh, you eat this. We'll take that. We have completed the quest and I'm running away. Now, there's an opportunity to go and explore more stuff. It would involve a huge amount of backtracking. Oh, we got that as well. Sweet. Look at this fucking treasure that we got. We are rich as. Oh, we got all our money back for all this food we didn't eat. I definitely overestimated the amount of food. But it could have been that we started at one end and had to track the whole way through that dungeon. So, better safe than sorry, I guess. You know, we got 4,000 plus 3,000, which probably doesn't actually quite come to the amount that we spent on it, to be fair. That's nice. This is probably shit because it's ash. Oh, no. Bleed resist. I'm a fan of that. So, Ash, you have proven yourself worthy, and you've come out of it with a... V oh, fuck. Uh, virtuously, and not very stressy. D. D went on a drunken bender and hasn't been seen since the previous evening. But has recovered 56 stress, so that's fine. Uh, now, Penelope Puddles will only meditate. Yeah, fucking what? Uh, but that's fine. Ash is now a Preston apprentice, a Preston Vental, and Altrius is an adventurer highwayman, so we can level ourselves up if we want to. We have 12,000 gold, and don't forget, we can swap these round. We have plenty of deeds. Deeds was this, right? Oh, yes. Uh, a leper. We don't have a leper yet. So we're going to keep uh, increasing our um, roster here, but I'm not going to take two bounty hunters. That sounds like a bad idea. I'm going to hold out for a uh, uh, the, the fucking occultist. Jeez Louise. And I'm running out of names on my list. But we will add some names now. You are going to be called Vague because Vague tried to nominate somebody else. And as a result, you know what? You get a capital V. That's how nice I'm feeling. Can't apparently uh, move the cursor around because... We haven't got that technology yet. So Vague is our new bounty hunter, which is... I don't think we got one of those yet, have we? Maybe not. And Valance is now... Brian. Brian is a cat. But... Uh, in true Let's Play style, at least one character has to be named after a cat. It's not even my cat. It's my timeshare cat. Uh, but it has been in my house, so... Therefore, uh, a character is named after it. D has gone missing, so Ash is our only real healer. So Ash, I'm going to promote you by dragging you up. Yeah, where you at? Oh, there you are. D, you get demoted to the bottom of the list. I'm not. I've got no time for this. There we go. So next time, there are plenty of options. We need to get a lot more of these things, and we have beaten our first boss. So thank you for joining me for that exciting, incredible adventure tomorrow. Probably, maybe, there will be another incredible adventure, which may or may not be incredible. No promises are made, no warranty implied or otherwise, etc, etc. So, join me then. Do leave a like if you liked, do subscribe if you want to see more, and do join me for the next one.